If you all knew it, five and 85 year old man is out of prison tonight. Robert George served more than 30 years behind bars. George was convicted on a manslaughter charge and questions remain about why he served such a long sentence for the crime. Ryan Hall has details from Atmore. Behind me at Fountain Correctional Facility, people serve time for various crimes. Convicted of manslaughter, Robert George was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole for the shooting of Mary Dale. I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. Those were just a few emotions that Yvonne McRae had when she saw her father walk out of prison. George says that he is most excited for one thing now that his time is over. And I have a lot of grandchildren and I want to meet, meet, <laughs> meet all of them. The mother of Mary Dale wrote in an affidavit that she supported the release of George. She said the killing of her daughter was an accident and that George does not pose a threat to the community anymore. George was up for parole in 2022 but was denied. Former Alabama Governor Don Siegelman says it is difficult to get a second chance from the Pardons and Paroles Board. No matter how you've changed your life, um, you know, the likelihood is that they're going to say no, go back. Lauren Foreno is George's attorney. When it comes to reform, she says what prisons need is more hope. Foreno says low parole rates and long sentences cause inmates to give up yeah, completely. We all want to live in a safe society and we need to ask ourselves how we're going to get there. To me, the reforms that make the most sense are those that help people who are inside of the prison learn a better way. George reunited with his family at the Hampton Inn just down the road from the correctional facility. He says that his faith helped him keep hope while serving his time. I can tell everybody, that man up there, I called on him day and night and told him to, to, to hold me on. So a sweet moment for George and his family. After leaving Fountain Correctional Facility, he is moving to Florida to spend more time with them. In Atmore, Ryan Hall, News 19.